Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Christ Honor and Commentary series on the book of Genesis by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox. And this is the cover of the book here. Sorry about the glare uh, to than that. Uh, so there you can get a better look there of the cover of the book. And as I've stated many times before, that this book is no longer in print, although it is saying that it is still available on the church website at the bookstore. So I'm not sure if that was a mistake, but um, uh, regardless, maybe they're doing pr uh, limited printed uh, copies of this particular book um, uh, for those that order on the internet. But uh, either way, you can contact the church, I'm sure, and find a copy of this book somewhere, whether it be contacting the church or go find your own copy somewhere on a used book store website or something. So um, that's the cover to it. And the website is www.jameswnox.org or store.jameswnox.org and you can find all of his books on that uh, uh, website there, the church website. So, amen. And so let's go ahead and before we get started on today's topic, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he too can be your Lord and Savior today. And he's not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance and believe on him. And he'll wash away all your sin and give you eternal life and show you and teach you how to be more Christ-like and have a better relationship with him as you walk through this life as a believer in Christ and to learn to be a, a Christian. So, all right. So today is the final topic on Genesis chapter 3, and I'll go over the Search the Scriptures book here in a few minutes to tell you how to uh, find more on the um, topic of Genesis chapter 3 and that book. So this is for the 27th Saturday, and is this Genesis three twenty three through 24 says, Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden, so he drove out the man. Genesis three twenty three through 24. And so you know, a little outline here. <clears throat> Brother James writes here. He says, God is love. He is the God of all grace, for that we are eternally thankful, right? Amen. But modern man has perverted his concept of God by refusing to proclaim the attributes of God, which make him a balanced being, right? So he's not just a God of love and grace, but he's a God of judgment and of uh, righteousness and all that. So uh, he writes uh, here um, that uh, we don't, uh, modern man uh, tends to have... Uh, so has perverted his concept of God by refusing to proclaim the attributes of God, which make him a balanced being. And uh, continuing on, he writes, uh, He is a God of judgment, wrath, and vengeance. He will pardon, and he will punish. He will bless, and he will curse. He will exalt, and he will cast down. The same God who prepared a place in heaven for all those uh, who believe, uh, prepared a hell for the devil and his angels and all who choose to abide in darkness. Uh, God made man and placed him in a beautiful garden. The same God sent the man out of that garden when he sinned, right? Uh, men and women today know little or nothing of the fear of the Lord, and without it they too may one day find themselves driven from his presence. Depart from me. What awful words to hear on Judgment Day. So make sure you don't hear those words, but get right with the Lord and trust Jesus as your Savior today so you don't have to hear those words depart from me. And continuing on, he writes, There appears to be some resistance or refusal on the part of the man to go when bidden. Verse 23 says, Sent. And verse 24 says, Drove out. Most likely, at the white throne judgment, many sentenced to the lake of fire will have to be cast therein, right? Uh, how graphic is this portrait of man's fall? The one who had been given responsibility to keep 215, the garden, is now excluded by the cherubim who keep 324, the way of the tree of life, the fiery uh, in the creature's hand. Uh, remain, reminds us of God's making his ministers a flaming fire. Uh, Psalms 104, verse 4, Access to the tree of life will once again be granted to some of 
Adam's race in the final victory of grace, Revelation 2, 7, 22, 2, and 14. Until then, man barred from the privileges enjoyed inside the garden. So, um, until then, man is uh, barred from the privileges and enjoyed inside the garden. So, um, so make sure you trust Jesus, your Savior, and you can be with him in heavenly places and all that uh, stuff there. If not, you'll die in your sin and perish and end up in a lake of fire. So, don't let that happen to you. <clears throat> and, uh, amen. All right, so that is the end of today's topic. Last topic on Genesis 3, verses 23 through 24. And tomorrow, as we begin a new week, January 28th, uh, will be Genesis 4, verse 1, as we start on these topics from Genesis chapter 4. And it says here in verse 1, And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord, Genesis 4, 1. So that will be tomorrow's topic, and a little outline there. Okay, so, and again, this is the cover to the book of Genesis uh, from the Christ Honor and Commentary series by James W. Knox. And then I also want to mention the Search the Scriptures book. And uh, I know my copy is a little beat up. I've had it for a long time. So this is a copy of the Search the Scriptures book. And it's got a uh, bunch of different topics in here. And one of these is um, titled Subjects or Studies, excuse me, Studies on the Book of Genesis, or on the Book of Genesis, Chapter 3. And on my copy of the book, which is page 207, and the copy that I have, but it might be in a different copy because uh, um, it's been reprinted since then, uh, since I got this copy. So it might be on a different page. So, But it's uh, studies on the book of Genesis, chapter 3, and there's other uh, studies in here on um, the Gospel of John, uh, studies on the Epistle uh, to Romans, chapters 9 through 16, studies on the book of uh, Proverbs, Studies on the Epistle to the Philippians, studies on the Epistle to the Colossians, studies on the book of Genesis chapter 3, studies on the book of Hebrews chapter 11, and then studies on the first epistle to the Thessalonians. So those are all the topics in this book here. And of course, uh, the studies from Genesis chapter 3 used to be in a um, book by itself, but then Brother James had it put in this um, book here. So, amen. All right, and now again, those books can be found on www.jameswnox.org or go to store.jameswnox.org, and that's the book uh, store part of the website, and you can search all his books and sermons on there in order any you uh, might like to have. So, all right, and then I also wanted to mention the other um, broadcast. Uh, it's Baptist Bread and Scripture Songs, where I've been reading different uh, um, daily um, topics from the Baptist Bread devotional book and then the Daily Strength Volume 1 book and we're concluding with that book this um, next week and then we're going into Volume 2 and there's four volumes to that series of books and then the, um, so the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book and been doing hymns from that uh, book there and so and that's uh, um, available to watch along with this broadcast on either the Facebook page my Facebook page or going to Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting on YouTube or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way on the YouTube channel. And then I also want to mention the podcast, which is God's Messenger Lighthouse Podcast, where I've been re reading different heroes of the Christian faith um, stories and missionary uh, stories, and then um, reading through Brother James's Tire Tracks book. So you can check those out on that uh, podcast on um, Spotify or iHeartRadio. So uh, praise the Lord for all these different missionary stories and Christians, the hero, uh, heroes of the faith, uh, Christian stories there. So amen. And all these men that write these devotionals and uh, their ministries. So pray for them and for Brother James and his ministry and and uh, all that stuff. So, all right. Well, that'll be it to, uh, for today. So thanks for watching and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.